So you want to join the army? Okay, so joining the army, it is an easy choice for most people to make and to get this far that you're prior to your enlistment is a pretty big goal. It takes a lot of patience for a lot of people to get there. So as your enlistment day approaches, so does one of the biggest hurdles that many people are going to ever face in their entire life basic training. So I thought, because one of my friends is soon going to Kapuga, I put together a video to help everyone going through basic training and give them some tips for survival that were never shared with me. Now this is a list compiled from many people's experiences, including other diggers and other people who have gone through Kapuga, of course, because you couldn't make a list about it if they hadn't. And this is just basically just to help you get through Kapuka and let you in on some of the happy haps down there before you even arrive. So where is basic training? Well, some say the training is some of the hardest military recruit training ever given in the world. Others say the reason one RTB is so shiny is because it's polished with the recruit's tears. All we know is, it's called Kapuka. What's the first rule? Don't dig up the base. First of four main rules is be the gray man. Yes, the elusive grey man is generally spoken in hushed tones amongst recruits and sometimes mentioned by the instructors. It's the person that you know is there, but they seldom ever feel the spotlight. Pretty much, that person exists, but no one knows they exist. To be the grey man, it's actually quite simple. Don't do anything that's going to put you in the spotlight. This includes your actions and your speech at Kapuka, but this also goes back to the preparation that you do before Kapuka. Now when I say this, I mean if you're going to pack running shoes, do not pack running shoes that stand out, have bright colours or anything, because trust me, PTIs will pick on you for that stuff. Something as simple as having funny looking civilian clothes, while they might be nice and expensive, will get you picked on. Basically, do not make yourself stand out like dog's ball. Rule number two, chickity check yourself before you wreck yourself. Don't get wrecked. Make sure that your uniform, your mate's uniform, even your entire section's uniform, and their equipment and everything that needs to be nice and done and proper is squared away and schmicko before you go anywhere. One of the very core values of the army is teamwork and trust me, you're gonna learn the meaning of teamwork very quickly down there. And if you don't function as a team, you can't function full stop. Rule number three, make a countdown list. This one will probably be the best morale booster you ever do for yourself ever. Have a list with what day it is, what the date is, how many days you've been at Kapuka for and how many days you've got left. And every night before you go to bed, the last thing you do for that day, apart from tucking yourself in, is scratch off the day on the list. It's the best feeling ever and it pretty much helps a lot. Trust me, you'll be glad you did. Rule number four. The final main rule is to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. It's pretty simple actually. If you're heading out scrub and you look at the sky and it's nice and clear, hope that it's going to stay that way but also take a rain jacket. Kapuka has a habit that constantly comes up for preying on people who are unprepared. So along with those four main rules I've also compiled a list of things to note and other tips from other diggers. So we'll go first with the things to note. Kapuka is actually secretly another dimension where time goes much slower than it does in the entire other universe. So to get past this, don't ever check the time. You'll just anger the universe and it will punish you further. Plus the clocks there are unreliable. They're not at the right time. Try to enjoy as many sunsets and sunrises as you can while you're there. It truly is a beautiful piece of the world and chances are you'll probably get to see almost every single one of them. Try and make mates with everyone, even if they're a complete toss up because at one point you'll be relying on them and they'll be relying on you. That's the way it works. Another important part to take note of is one of the parts of the soldier's contract says, I strive to take the initiative. Note, strive. Don't ever take the initiative. Strive. Learn as many songs, pop culture references, and all that other funny jazz before you go down there. Not only will it help you entertain yourself in the boring hours of the early morning, it'll also help you bond with your new mates. When you do get phone time, make sure you call the people most important to you. This may be your girlfriend, your spouse, your mum, your dad, your best friend. Call the people that are gonna make you feel good for calling them. And don't be too serious. Being overly serious at Kapuka is not an advantageous trait to have at all. In fact, it's probably a disadvantage to have. Don't be too serious. And we're going to finish off with some final tips from some other diggers. We've only got about five because only five people replied to my thing. But anyway, let's get to them. One of my favorites. When you're marching up a hill, lean into the hill and let the hill do the work for you. 
I'll let you mull over that. Another one is don't ask stupid f***ing questions all the time. This is a big one. People get in trouble for asking stupid questions, and I don't mean just the one person. I mean the entire platoon will be bastardized for someone asking a stupid question. If it starts in the early stages, make sure you curb it then. Don't let it go on right till the end, or else it just continues and continues and continues. Another one. Don't be a c Simple. A very important one for all you people going out to the firing range. Rounds face down range. I say again. Rounds face down range. That means towards the enemy. And a good one for health and safety. 4B is terrible. You don't need to cut it with a pocket knife and end up cutting yourself. You can tear it. Well lads and lasses, that's all from me today. Kapuka is hard, but you'll find it's worth it. Always be proud of the choice you have made to become an Australian soldier. And the golden rule is, if you get past the first three weeks, you're going to have no trouble at all getting through the rest of it. So I know it's a bit of an oxymoron to say, but have fun at Kapuka, good luck, and good soldiering. Anyway, lads and lasses, that is all from me today. I hope you have a great day and a great life. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have come back from Kapuka and survived, please comment below and tell us whether these tips helped you or not. Or if you didn't know of these tips or if you think these tips are going to help people. And if you have any further suggestions, do add them below because I can imagine there's going to be quite a few people looking at this video. Um, good luck to Brody. Okay, brother. I'm going to probably come down to your march out if I got money. But um, I'll try and make it, and good luck with Kabuka. I know you can get through it. It's something you've always wanted to do for a long time, and you'll absolutely freaking nail it on the head. You will. Don't ever doubt yourself or your ability, ever. So remember, if you have survived Kapuka, comment it below. Tell me and tell the world. Tell the world I survived Kapuka, and everyone will be like, damn, son, you great. So that's all from me, lads and lads. So have a great day and a great life, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye!